Hey everyone, well not long ago I got my new telescope, it didn't take long to get it on that mount and get it ready for my first image session. I was so excited, however that excitement fast turned into, well, utter frustration as we had the near constant bombardment of clouds, rain, the weather was all over the shop, it, it wasn't great for astrophotography at all. Now, having said this, I have got a bunch of data on two targets, so let's turn back time to when I actually first started to record for this video. So this is my first light with the Spree 100. Hope you enjoy. Welcome and welcome back to the channel everyone. So like I mentioned, the weather has been all over the shop. But I did manage to get a two hour window where I got to do a little tinkering session, shall we say. Of course, when you put new gear on and adjust things, you upset the apple card, don't you? And things just don't want to work the way you want to. And that was definitely the case. So I hopefully worked out all the bugs, uh, ready for a smooth image session. A smooth image session. I haven't had one of them in a while. The first point of call was the focus. Now in my last video I blindly adjusted that focus and would you believe it, it was pretty much smack on. Can I say it was on purpose? Hmm. The guide camera needed to get sorted so the way I did that was I manually moved the camera out and once I was happy roughly where it was I'd use the helical focus there that's on the guide scope here and just fine adjust that. Again, talking about upsetting the Apple cart, this is a new scope, new camera. It really wasn't playing the game. However, a little bit of calibration and it worked a treat. So to test the system out, I slewed the rig over to the constellation Auriga. Did my first uh, image of 2024 at the Flame Star Nebula. So I decided to go next door and frame up the Tadpoles Nebula. And while the clouds were staying away, I decided to slew it to another target, have a little bit more fun. Show these uh, test images once we get back inside on the computer. So there's one of a few images that I took uh, three minute exposures. And to be honest, the seeing weren't great. It was quite hazy, but they served a purpose. I just wanted to make sure that the rig was up and running okay. And what I find interesting about this is, I'm going to zoom in to this noisy mess here. I'm looking at these stars, and these stars are quite close together, but what I like is the fact you can see the divide. And there's another example there. So yes, good start. Hopefully on the image session it's going to be a lot better seeing conditions. Also want to jump on to Stellarium here. I'll just jump over to Auriga. So the target for this image session, I think you've already guessed it, is going to be the tadpoles. And uh, to be honest, picking a target with this setup, it's new territory. You know, it's opened up some new possibilities, which I'll show you in a second. But I am used to that wide forgiven view with the red cat. Now if I just go on to another layer here, there's a the red cat with the 533. And there's my last target there. You can nearly get them in if I put that onto my 77D, which is a DSLR camera, even wider. In fact, it's that wide with the DSLR, you've got the Spider and Fly nebula in this frame as well. I'll go to another target that I've captured before, which is the Triangulum Galaxy. If we just put that onto the 533 and the Esprit, so I don't know about anyone else, but I think that is going to be a pretty spectacular shot. And I'm looking forward to capturing that at some point with this setup. So one more example. I'm going to go over to Boards and Cigar Galaxy. That, that looks quite sweet. That's really, really drawn the galaxies in. So another potential target. And this is quite high up in the sky, actually. So this would be a potential for me to grab maybe after this first light image session. Who knows? As mentioned, I slowed the rig to another target, which was the moon. Now, at this point, the, there was a few clouds kicking around, and also it was quite atmospheric. It's quite a nice close-up video here, and as you can see, with all the wobble 
how atmospheric it actually was. It's quite nice how we can see all the, the craters and that. And there she is in all the glory. Beautiful. Well, quite enjoyed them little videos to be honest with the moon and a successful tinkering session I thought hopefully everything goes smoothly on the actual image session so all we're going to do is play in the waiting game now see if these clouds disappear well that waiting game didn't seem to end it was relentless that weather and looking across social media I know a lot of you out there were having the same dramas it's the worst thing about this hobby isn't it it's so unpredictable, it's totally out of your hands, there's nothing you can do about it and you've just got to persevere sometimes, be patient and eventually the goods will be delivered. And that's certainly the case there. So altogether I did six image sessions, two targets of course like I mentioned at the beginning. So I'm going to jump on to Photoshop here and show you the first one which is the Tadpoles Nebula. Okay, well this is what I've got on the Tadpoles, about four and a half hours of exposure time. I, to be fair, I wanted uh, about six to eight hours. Um, however, I had to abandon it because uh, it was getting too low in the sky. Never mind, I will take what I can get. Hopefully I can work with this. Uh, what I've done is I've stretched the image and uh, done a few little tweaks in the uh, camera raw filter menu here. Just bring out the detail just to show you guys uh well i'll just go on this red channel as you can see there is loads in there so hopefully i can bring that out with further processing right so i'll just zoom in a little bit not too far though and as you can see it's lovely detail and i'm really excited to get stuck in and see how it turns out so that's image number one so the next image I want to show you is the Iris Nebula and I actually got 11 hours of exposure time on this one. I couldn't believe it. I'm really happy with that. And that was over the space of three image sessions, same as the tadpoles. So I'll do jump on again. I'll show you what I've got and done so far. So with this one, I've gone a little bit further on the processing. I'll show you this image first. I've got two to show. And basically what I've done with this one is just stretched it and brought all that detail so if we just zoom in a bit you can see all the dark areas around here as well the dust is there is more in this image which you'll see in a minute but i was quite happy with that so far again detail wise looking good so what i did was i extracted the stars and i did some further processing to bring out all that lovely dust and that's looking quite sweet i'm quite happy with how this is coming together and i can't wait to show you at the end well the end is near i'm gonna wrap things up if you're still watching thank you very much for sticking around hope you enjoyed the video and i want to say thank you very much all you subscribed up there you're awesome thank you for your support and if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing to the channel very much a long-winded first light video with the esprit 100 of course can't be helped your that's weather for you hopefully it picks up that would be nice wouldn't it so, hope you enjoy the images, everyone. Hope you enjoy the video. And until next time, take care and peace, guys.